So, yeah, so I'll just give a quick background of my, uh, what I worked on in, in the US. Uh, so I started a company with a friend of mine. Uh, and uh, when we were negotiating the contracts, not, it wasn't exactly a negotiation, but basically what I, what I did was I wanted to take everything I knew from forming this company, everything I knew about stock and stock options and those kinds of things, and come up with a, an agreement that made the most sense for the other person. So out of that came um, the sort of use of stock options where we spread them uh, among like 50 plus people instead of just like CEOs and top executives. And we maximized the terms in their favor. So instead of like golden handcuffs, we had 10 year exercise periods. Um, and uh, so that, that felt really important to me to, to do that and to make sure that the, the value that the people were bringing was reflected in the value we gave back to them. Um, the company has done really well. We're up to about 300 employees. Um, but what happened in the process was I felt like I, uh, I didn't want to be the CEO of a consulting company. I wanted to do something else. I didn't know exactly what that was going to be. Um, so I'll kind of fast forward um, a couple years on a plane to New Zealand and uh, just felt called here. Um, and on the way over, really, the only two things I felt like I had was uh, this, this is really true. Uh, I had this value in, value out principle, which felt uh, deeply important to me, and just setting the intention of service. Like, whatever I can do for anybody, I want to do it. Um, so came over, and then I found out, or uh, went to this Charles Eisenstein retreat, who, uh, if you haven't heard of him, he's, he's incredible. Um, sometimes people talk about the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible. That comes from Charles. Um, in the retreat, I had uh, this experience of listening to Kiwis talk about, we were having, people were having these experiences in this retreat, and we were talking about how is this happening, where is this coming from? And they were saying, it's coming from the land itself. And I had heard that before, but this really, really hit home for me. Um, and then the, uh, the next thing I heard was that a river was given personhood um, here in New Zealand. So basically, the combination of these three things, looking back, um, all came through in, in sort of this download in a conversation I was having with somebody. And the idea is that if, um, if the land and the river are providing this value and we recognize this value, and the river and the land have been given personhood, then if it can own itself, then it could own other assets too. If we recognize that the land is doing these things and we honor this value and value our principle, then I feel that we're kind of obligated to make the land, the river, a co-founder in our companies, to give them a permanent seat on our board of directors, um, to give them equity in our companies, um, so that as these uh, companies grow, the support for the land and the rivers uh, come with it. And we don't uh, remove this part of the economy from this environment, from nature, which we're all so dependent on. Um, and so this was, this was the idea that came out of it. And uh, yeah, since then, I've gotten connected to Rebecca Mills, and she's been adding her ideas and expertise. Um, and the, uh, what, we're, what we're doing is we're, we're taking this equity that companies are donating, putting it into a venture fund, maybe we'll use blockchain, uh, and then uh, investors buy into the fund, and then we use all of the, uh, the, um, the funds, the, the, the capital, to support environmental efforts, including and especially uh, more personhood for more rivers, defending these legal precedents, not only in New Zealand, but around the world. So that's what I'm working on. Um, and the other thing I want to mention is that this would not have happened if I wouldn't have come here. I didn't come here thinking about this. Um, it was only after I came here that this idea came to me. And so this, this idea is really born from this place. Um, and I feel uh, honored and privileged. And it, this needs to, uh, it's taken root in this place. And I want to uh, help see this through. So thank you.